This summer, a new book is coming out. It's called Beyond Worksheets. Yeah, it was created with teachers in mind, and it's supposed to present methods to develop lessons that actively foster student engagement, a lot of it, and more focus from your kids. So it's all a good thing. That's right. We're talking with Amy Mayer, who's the author of Beyond Worksheets. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm great. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for being here. So what led to this book, Beyond Worksheets? I, I know you were a teacher for a while. Tell us a little I bit was. about the backstory. Yes, I was a teacher for a long time, and I realized that the things that had motivated me and maybe you when you were in school were not motivating my students anymore. I really had to come up with different creative ways to make assignments mm -hmm. that would help my students get engaged with learning, or else I would be trying to force them, which really wasn't possible. So I learned new ways of engaging students and those ways have worked throughout my career and I want to share them with other teachers. Can you give us an example of one of these exercises that you got the kids involved in to wake them up, to make them more engaged? Well, one of the things I did is I brought students here to your studio many, okay. many years ago. They oh. were all interested in broadcasting. They were all on the morning news of their <laughs> school TV show and it looks really different today, but yeah. at one time I brought kids here and it really helped them connect to, wow, maybe I could do this as a career, and maybe what I'm doing at school every day does connect to the real world, and maybe I do need to learn grammar and to speak properly and write properly because that's going to matter later on. Interesting. So what, what was missing uh, from some of the curricula that you were involved in in the past that really requires maybe this change? Yeah, well, when you ask a student to complete a worksheet, the student who can complete it doesn't need it, and the <laughs> student who needs it can't complete it. Yeah. So yeah. it's a really big problem with that form of learning material that it's really more like an assessment, which is what you do after you've already learned. Um, so we really have to make big changes in education, and education is in crisis right now, so it's, it's very time sensitive. Well, and teachers are so vital, you know, in, in, in our lives. I mean, I remember we had an English teacher, right, in Detroit. And, you know, a lot of us kids, we weren't interested in reading about Shakespeare, Shakespeare at all, right? We couldn't pronounce half of the words. We weren't really that, we weren't engaged in reading about Shakespeare. So my teacher, I thought, did something brilliant. She said, okay, well, we're going to do this Shakespearean play. And we had to audition, and she gave us all roles. And then we wanted to learn right. about Shakespeare because right. we were acting it out. Is that kind of on the same idea as what you're doing? Yes, so having students get really active in their learning and understanding how what they're doing relates to the world is critical for students to retain. And if somebody had given you a worksheet, you wouldn't even remember it today, but exactly. you remember that. I'll never forget that. I mean, right. it was it was really changing, life-changing for me because then I went on to do some acting in high school and so did several other kids. I mean, it was like a month-long project and we really got into it. So Well, look at you. Now I you're on it. television. Look at well, you. Well, whatever. I just, <laughs> but the, the kids you work with, uh, you're, you're trying to do exercises like this as well? Well, I work with teachers now, so I own a company called Fried Tech, okay. and we work with teachers, uh, usually through companies like Google and Adobe. So we try to help teachers understand how to create those assignments that students will still be remembering and still be using those skills years and years later like your teacher did. Yeah, well, we have to remember, too, all kids learn differently to a certain extent. Exactly. But also, I imagine there's a challenge because all teachers can't necessarily teach differently or individually because there's so many kids in a classroom. Exactly. That's an inherent challenge with teaching. It's truly a challenge, and it's just gotten more and more challenging as the years have gone by and state mandates have just increased, and sometimes teacher autonomy has not increased. Um, and your teacher had autonomy to differentiate for you. That's what that's what your teacher did. Yeah. And we we advocate for all teachers to have the autonomy to differentiate for their students. How can we get a hold of this book? Is it out on sale right now, or where is it? It's on pre-sale right now, and the easiest way is to go to our website. It's fried.tech, and then at the top you will see book, and you'll be able to click on that and learn more about it, how it might help you or your school. And I really hope people will take advantage of it. So is, is this book for teachers? Is it for parents, administrators? Who, who should be reading this book? I really think teachers and administrators should be reading it. Uh, there are a lot of messages that I think teachers want administrators to hear about the struggles that they're they're challenged with to, in today's classrooms that maybe sometimes they feel their administrators don't understand. And I've really tried to represent the teacher voice here, give them hope for the future of education, but for administrators to understand things in maybe a different way as well. God, that's fantastic. It really is. Thank you. I mean, there's nothing more important than our kids and getting them engaged as early as possible, right? Because yeah. it's going to affect their school life uh, for the rest of their school yes. time.
Yeah, I mean, I, I think of even something like a topic we're talking a lot about, which is banning TikTok in this country. And I know yeah. a lot of teachers personally that have used, and it doesn't have to be TikTok necessarily, but even social media to engage students. I mean, it really, it, it has to extend, I feel like, beyond the classroom to have an impact. Exactly, and social media is a great way for teachers to engage the community around their classroom, which is another powerful way to get students connected to what they're doing. I mean, students, when we were in school, might have said, I want to be a newsman. Now they don't say necessarily, I want to be on the news. Those kids maybe aren't watching the news, but they know what a TikTok influencer is. That's right. And yeah. they maybe want to do that. And it doesn't matter whether it ends up on TikTok or not. We can still film that segment. You yeah, know? I remember when my little nephew said, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow yes. up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's good to have goals. Right. Uh, yes. Amy Mayer, author of Beyond Worksheets, thanks for coming in and talking to us. Thank you guys yes. for having yes. me Thank today. you, Amy. You are delightful.